Okay, hello and welcome to this Garacom presentation on how to set up a basic SNMP um, settings for your 6K switch. Uh, we're going to walk you through the process, the steps you need to take, and uh, show you a real life demonstration of some of these uh, SNMP events and uh, what they actually look like. So, if we log into the switch, and uh, we just log back in because that's an old session. Okay, so log back in, and what we need to do is we actually need to, need to go to the configuration section, and near the bottom, it's all in alphabetical order. Uh, near the bottom is SNMP, which is the Simple Network Management Protocol. And what SNMP is, is basically just a language that uh, switches and routers and say firewalls uh, speak and using this language you can have uh, software running on your PC or a server somewhere which can talk to routers and switches, exchange information between the two and see what's going on, see what the current status of that device is and yeah, basically give you a real life view of remote devices by having software in your computer talk to software running on the switches and routers and the language between these two uh, uh, processes is all built around SNMP so uh, let's expand it out and we have here we have uh, the um, default community strings uh, community names or community strings uh, are basically kind of like a password but if you want to uh, get information or set information using SNMP you have to provide this particular password if you want to receive the messages sent via SNMP you need to provide this password so get and set to uh, receive information from the uh, switch or the router or change information stored on there and if you want to get the messages which are called traps you can uh, supply this password if you want to make changes you can change those here I'll leave those at the default for now. Uh, what we need to do here in these two uh, dialog boxes is basically uh, enter the IP address of my computer and on my computer I'll be running the SNMP management software which will be talking to the switches and uh, getting the information we need. So if I type in the IP address here 2.168.1.100 we need to enter an IP address for uh, the SNMP management and we also need to type in the IP address here again so that that machine also receives the messages about particular events um, from the switches. Uh, the messages are grouped into three different categories enterprise, think, things which are particular to um, Garrettcom or say Cisco a particular, to a particular vendor, SNMP which are kind of general messages which are more universal and ROMON which gives you sort of more uh, detailed sort of diagnostic type messages when you have uh, particular errors on an interface um, when those errors go up sometimes the switch can send a message to the network management station saying that there's been errors on that link so for us what we're going to do for this simple demonstration is just basically show you that the SNMP standard traps uh, or standard messages as you see trap is the SNMP term for a message and go OK to that and that's it, save that and that is pretty much the configuration and um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to fire up an application or a couple of tools from an application called SolarWinds which is a, uh, a good quality uh, and good value for money network management uh, suite of uh, different tools uh, the first one is uh, Network Monitor so if we uh, just sort of reduce that down here, okay. If I uh, just bring it, just adjust the screen slightly, there we are. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to add in the uh, IP address of the device we're going to be monitoring, which is just the IP address of the switch, and uh, it's asking us how often do we want to check it's okay and uh, for this demonstration we'll, we'll be checking every 10 seconds and, and so on and so forth. So we'll apply those changes and then close. So here we can see that this particular device with this particular IP address is currently node up, it's up and running and it uh, tells us how, 
how long it took for the message to get there and back and and how long it's been up for here so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the switch and what I'm going to do is I'm going to I've saved the changes and in the administration section I'm going to reboot the switch and what this will do did you hear that beep? That beep is from uh, the uh, network management station basically saying that the uh, device has gone no down look it's basically complaining now that he can't get to the device so um, something's happened if you can imagine this is a, a network out in the field um, it's, this is complaining because I've got a, a direct connection from my P, my uh, laptop to the switch and uh, as soon as it's rebooted you can see it's back up so it's basically looking to see the status of that device it's asking um, it's uh, checking to see if it's up and running uh, every few seconds and if it if the switch fails to reply the network management system will raise the alarm saying that this particular switch is down so that all the network administrators can uh, go and have a look and see what's the uh, problem so it's a really handy tool to monitor lots and lots of devices in your network uh, typically some networks can be as large as 300, 400 routers and switches and uh, tools like this are invaluable for detecting faults uh, quickly and being able to respond to those faults quickly and uh, SNMP gives us the capability to do all this type of uh, remote management there's another tool I want to show you which is the uh, trap receiver as I, as I mentioned before a, a trap is an SNMP message sent when a particular event occurs so what we're going to do here is we're going to go to minimize this and I'm going to bring up the other screen uh, nope that's the wrong one that's the one but bear with me I'm not going to make you wait for the uh, uh, adjustment I actually paused the video temporarily there while I adjusted the size of the screen so here we've already uh, had the uh, trap receiver up and running and already the uh, the, um, the switch has sent a message to us saying that look here it is warm start so basically what happened is when I rebooted the switch the switch power went down and then came back up but it didn't lose power so it was a warm start if I was to pull the power cable from the switch it would be a cold start so I'm going to do that now if I just pull this out so I'm, just, I'm basically just pulling the power cable out of the switch and you can hear in the background the network monitoring software complaining that the switch has gone down and the switch is going to take a few moments just to boot up here and when it does uh, it's going to give us a, it's going to send us a message saying what happened and it will say cold start so we'll get the warm start message for the reboot and the cold start and there we are the network management station saying yep we're back up and we should get a message through shortly with the cold start that's going to pause what that happens okay took a second or two or do you want to keep you waiting too long so here we are cold start trap so warm start is when you reboot it uh, in software cold start will be when you kill the power and um, it's when it comes back up the switch will then send you a message when it's come back up saying uh, I lost power therefore I, I, was, I was forced to reboot and that's what it is cold start and warm start there's some other messages I want to show you so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in another network cable into the switch and the switch will then reply with a link up message so bear with me one second okay so I'm going to plug a new network cable which has got a PC attached to it uh, into the, uh, the switch and there we are as soon as we plug it in the switch sends a message to us saying that one of the links has just come up on the switch if I was to take that uh, link and disconnect it they are, it sends a message straight away saying that uh, the link went down so if you can imagine you've got a very important link say a WAN link or a, a trunk link between, between two important switches and that link goes down then you want the switch to tell you that a link has gone down so that you can action that event uh, there's another uh, trap um, that the uh, switch will send by default using SNMP it's the uh, authentication failure so if somebody tries to uh, uh, use the switch and they fail port security the switch will then send that trap to you to let you know okay so that completes uh, this uh, video and a demonstration on basic SNMP setup uh, the uh, version we've been using here today is SNMP version 1 
there is SNMP version 2 and version 3 available as well however we will be covering those um, configurations in the advanced section uh, so if you do want to uh, have a look at those videos you're more than welcome but this is basically enough to get you started so it's um, straight out of the box uh, a few clicks, a few IP addresses and we're well away we can see what's going on even if we're hundreds of miles away sitting in a nice air conditioned office if uh, links are going up, if nodes are going up and down uh, we can see all that just sitting from our network management station like SolarWinds ok so uh, uh, that brings us to the end of the video so I hope this has been interesting I hope, I hope it's been helpful and on behalf of uh, Garrettcom I'd like to thank you for your time